of the long thank you to the 96-year-old queen took place without her physically being there. But credit Jubilee organizers for creativity. Sunday, a hologram of a younger Elizabeth II was beamed into her Golden State coach. I keep mine in here. And Saturday, she popped up in a video with Paddington Bear, even tapping out the beat to the opening song of the tribute concert. Prince Charles, the heir apparent, along with Prince William and Prince George, who are also in line to be kings, watched the day's colorful parade along the Mall with smiles. Although again, it was George's little brother Louis who seemed to have the most fun. Many, however, did find Charles's tribute to his mother Saturday evening moving. Your Majesty, Mummy, thank you from your family, the country, the Commonwealth, in fact, the whole world. The British government handed out money for more than 16,000 neighbourhood parties, like this one in West London. I think it's just wonderful for us all to be able to get together again after Covid. With the, you know, East, Eastern European war has been terrible, but it's lovely to be able to celebrate something wonderful and momentous. The celebrations also marked a break from politics as usual in the UK, but that truce is now ending. The parties and Jubilee celebrations have given a respite to Prime Minister Boris Johnson, who's facing serious political challenges. The coming week could be a defining one for his career. Johnson may find out if enough of his own MPs have rebelled to trigger a confidence vote sparked by parties at his Downing Street office while the country was in a COVID lockdown. One of his chief allies spent her jubilee making the case to keep him. We got the vaccine out and he went straight into the war in Ukraine. There are very few prime ministers who've had to deal with as much as he has. But for now, the jubilee had one last surprise, an unexpected balcony appearance by Her Majesty, smiling, waving and clearly pleased that another major milestone in her unprecedented reign was a success. Chris Brown, CBC News, London. Oh!